Yesterday, another Cardano DEX launch, and to be honest, I'm very impressed with what this deck has pulled off and how clean everything is in it. In today's video, we're going to be going over MinSwap, the latest Cardano DEX on the blockchain, on the Cardano blockchain, if that wasn't clear already. Anyways, let's get into the video. Also, before we go any further in this video, did I mention that you can load MinSwap up on your phone? Load up Min Wallet, connect your wallet with your seed phrase, and use the DEX on a mobile device. That is pretty important. You can also do pretty much every single step I mentioned in this video with your mobile device. So keep that in mind too. First things first, we're going to be going over adding liquidity. And if you didn't already know, when liquidity is added to a DEX, it counts as total value locked. Recently, MinSwap has pulled together over 50 million total value locked on the decks in the first day, which is nearly, you know, not exactly, but around 40 to 50, 40% of Sunday swaps TVL currently. This is pretty impressive. And I do really like to see this as this is day one of MinSwap and things are looking really up. Now, providing liquidity does come with some risks. If you don't already know, and permanent loss, I'm gonna leave a separate article for you to read down in a separate video by probably someone else explaining this if you don't already know, but essentially when you provide liquidity, if the asset pair you're providing for, cause you're gonna be needing ADA and MIN or you know MIN and whatever other asset pair you're providing for, you're gonna need both the tokens. And if one of them goes up and the other goes down, you're gonna have some impermanent loss. And when you go to withdraw your tokens, they're gonna be, you're not gonna get the same value out as what they were worth when you provided liquidity. So you will have to be careful with this. It is risky providing liquidity. There are benefits as you do get liquidity provision fees to overcome impermanent loss. And also soon enough, you're gonna be able to yield farm. I'll do a separate video on that when it comes out on March 13th, or depending on where you live, it may be March 14th, really depends on your time zone. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and look at my liquidity. Now I said, we're gonna look at liquidity first. We are going to do liquidity, but I'm also going to perform a swap first. So if you wanted to provide liquidity, you could go through the whole process with me like I'm going to do. So now right here, you can see I have some absurd amount of ADA min LP tokens. That's not how much ADA or min I have. The LP tokens tend to multiply by factors of, you know, 100 or a lot. Right here, I click on it. I have 1500 ADA pooled into this and the equivalent amount or 1500 ADA worth of min, which right now happens to be, or at the time I provided liquidity, happened to be around 6,000 min tokens. You can see my pool share is 0.01%. And any transactions that happen essentially in this pool right here, uh, people are trying to do volume. So say we have 887,000 ADA in volume, I would get 0.01% of the 0.3 liquidity pool fee. That is where we're at right now. That's how it goes. Now, we want to provide liquidity. So we're going to have to get our hands on one of these tokens. We're going to do min as I really do like min right now. And I'm interested in getting some. So all we have to do is we have to trade. We're going to go to the top here. We're going to click the asset we want. We want to trade ADA and we want to trade it over to something else. In this case, I'm going to go for min. We can click it here. Or if you want an easier way to do it, if you can't find it on this list, the token you're looking for, you can go to overview. You can go to one of these pools. Say I want LQ. You click on it and you can click swap. That is a really easy way to do it as well. Now we click on swap. We go to ADA. We want, let's say, 20 ADA worth of min. It's going to get 78 min. All you have to do is click swap. There is a settings tab. So this slippage tolerance, if you want to adjust it, and if you want to have a cap per year after the order confirms, click this button. It is quite alarming though, beware. You can go ahead and click it here and also adjust it if you want the tolerance of your slippage. Usually I say, I'm going to keep it at 0 0.5. This is the amount the trade could slip from your target order um, and still be accepted anywhere outside of this of greater margin of error won't be accepted. The larger slippage tolerance, the more risk you're putting on yourself that you're not going to get the order filled within the desired price range. Okay, so we're gonna leave it at that. We're gonna go like that. Now we're gonna click swap, you're gonna have to have NAMI connected. So I probably should went over that. Um, you're gonna have to have a wallet NAMI CC vault, whatever else connected. If you don't know how to do that, 
I will leave down in the description a full NAMI wallet guide if you want to set up your NAMI wallet to get you onto here. But at once you've gotten it, you load up your NAMI wallet um, with your ADA in it, and you can essentially go over here, click connect. It's going to ask, ask you to have access to it. You accept the access. Then you get to this point with a swap. You can then click swap, confirm swap. It's going to build a transaction, whatever wallet you're using. And then you're just going to go ahead. Obviously, you're going to need enough ADA to sign the transaction. And then you can sign the transaction. Now, also keep in mind when you're doing this, you're going to get that in your ear. And it is a bit alarming. It scares me every time a bit. Probably should disable it. Um, but it's going to submit the transaction. It might take a bit to go through. You can go over here to the top, click on orders, and see that this is my one from last night at 3.30 in the morning at a cap per my ear. It was, it was pretty scary. It broke my financial immersion. Um, but you're going to see if we refresh this, our order is going to probably be here um, when it gets completed or at least marked as pending it might take a minute, but this is where you can see your order. And when it does go through, eventually you're also going to be able to see it completed here and all the details of your order. If you want to go and read the transaction log, most people probably don't know how to read this. So I'm not going to go over that today. It's not that important. But this is where you can view your orders to see all of your past transactions and also the fees associated with the swap. Now, right now, I would provide liquidity, but I want to make sure you understand this before going forward. When we're going to provide liquidity, we do have to submit another transaction. Right now, our swap is pending. And if we are to try to build a transaction, sign it, it is going to fail if it has not submitted and showed up in this order history tab recently. Okay. So keep that in mind. You can't submit two transactions at the same time using the same wallet because they share an UTXO. Basically, either use another wallet when you switch in the tabs here, or what you can do is just wait it out till the other transaction is done and then come back in and submit another transaction. AKA then you can come back in and use that min that you just got or min that you have already in your wallet to provide liquidity. So the transaction has now went through and we can go ahead and see that it's completed. We can see the new min in our wallet and we can go ahead now and provide liquidity. We're going to go over to either the pool tab or the overview tab. In any case, you're going to click the add liquidity button. Then once you're there, you're going to go ahead, click what you want to trade. In this case, we want to do ADA. We also want to do min, which we have in our wallet. And we can see there we're going to go ahead and use all of our min. Okay. We're going to use all the min we have, and we're going to add liquidity to the pool, which will give us some liquidity pool tokens. And it will take a second to submit the transaction, but we're going to go ahead and do that. You can adjust the slippage like the other swap, but this is the same concept applies. Um, basically, instead of buying or swapping for the asset, this is the price that you are confirming you want to provide liquidity at. And if you're worried about permanent loss, you want to set your slippage to a reasonable amount. Usually the default is what I will be going with. So we're going to submit this transaction. It's going to take a while to go through or maybe a minute. You're going to get that cat in your ear. And I'm sorry if that startled you. It also startled me. But and then after that, after this goes through, I'm going to show you the zap functionality, which allows you to only have one of the asset pairs and still provide liquidity basically by summing it up all in one transaction and doing the buy plus the liquidity provision all in one, which is really useful. But I do think it's important also that we did this first to show you how providing liquidity normally works on any decks like MinSwap. So the transaction has now been submitted on our end and our wallet is freed up and we can submit another transaction. Well, this is queuing. We're going to go ahead and check out the latest zap feature, which is actually really freaking cool. If you don't have min, don't have mel, don't have whatever else, and you want to provide liquidity for it without doing a buy, then a provide liquidity and kind of having it all in one. Keep in mind, this is essentially buying the asset and providing liquidity at the same time. So you are going to have to put up ADA. And this also does come with a permanent loss risk. So please be careful. Now let's go ahead and let's click how much ADA we want to use. We want to use 30 ADA again, and we want to select a token that we want to basically get the liquidity provision token for. We're going to do ADA at min LP. We're going to click zap, and this is going to convert our ADA into the LP token which is essentially doing what we just did for min swap to buy it and provide liquidity, but this time all in one transaction. There is a slippage. If you want to adjust this, you can. We're going to turn off the audio this time and we're going to zap it. It's going to build our transaction. We're going to wait a minute. 
we're gonna have Nami show up here and we're gonna sign it. Keep in mind, there is like a four ADA fee uh, for this. So if you're doing smaller transactions, I suggest kind of doing them all at once or making it one big one if you can to save on fees, but that is completely up to you as I'm providing liquidity for this pool and I will get a minimal, 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 minimal fraction of those fees too. Okay, we have now zapped officially our Cardano to some min LP tokens. And if we go over to the orders, you can see it's complete here. And we can also see that when we go to overview and we look at my liquidity, I now have a lot more or a little bit more. I have 6,100 pooled min and also 1,549 compared to, I believe it was 14 something before on this pool. Now, at any point, I can remove the liquidity, get the ADA and the min back. But in the future, we're going to be able to yield farm. And because I have, you know, I want to yield farm and I want to earn more uh, rewards on this liquidity provision uh, position, I am not going to be taking it out and I'm going to be leaving it. Yes, it's a little bit risky if the price of min goes up a ton or down. Um, but I am going to be leaving it and this is going to be my fun money to mess around with and have a little bit of fun providing liquidity and earning liquidity providing rewards as well as yield farming rewards from a min swap. That's pretty much it for the decks today. Min swap just launched yesterday. I'm very impressed with the UI and kind of the cat noises. Um, they're a bit startling, but I think you get used to them. And also I really like how they've done and produced protected the Cardano ecosystem going through the development, taking their time to do things right, and also to help the protocol grow. MinSwap, thank you so much for making an awesome dApp, and I'm really excited to see what else is to come. The mobile version is also really awesome. I definitely recommend if you guys are mobile users, try it out, use their Min Wallet, and you can start having fun on the decks without a PC, without an Ami Wallet, or without any of the other provisions that you would need for a dApp, usually on Cardano. Before we go, I want to mention that you can also stake your ADA to earn passive ADA with the Jack stake pool if you would like to. But that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. It's been your friend Jack. Peace out.